If you vote in person this year, you may see people wandering around the polling place just observing. They're called poll watchers, and they have to wear a special ID so you know who they are. Political parties and candidates appoint these people to ensure the election is fair. If they choose, poll watchers can see almost the entire voting process, including machine setup and ballot counting. They're required to train with the Secretary of State's office so they know what's legal, what's not, and how to behave themselves. They cannot be at a voting station while someone is casting their ballot. They must turn off their phones or any other devices that can record audio or video, and they cannot talk to voters. They shouldn't talk to poll workers either unless they're calling attention to a potential problem. You'll never see more than two poll watchers at a time at your voting site. Candidates and elected officials are not allowed to do this job, though their relatives can. Know that the election judge on site can remove poll watchers if they see them break these rules. For more election information, visit WFAA.com slash vote. I'm Matt Houston. Get ready to make your voices heard. North Texas, don't let transportation problems prevent you from voting. There are a number of free options to help you reach the polling places. DART recently announced they'll provide complimentary rides to the polls on election day, so that means all DART buses, trains, GoLink, the Dallas streetcar, paratransit services, and the TRE between Union Station and DFW Airport will be free for voters. To take advantage of this offer, passengers must show a valid voter registration card. Riders using GoLink can apply the promo code VotePressCheckout to obtain a complimentary day pass. And Tarrant County residents also have the option of riding free to the polls on November 5th. Your choices include Trinity Metro's fixed route bus, TexRail, Access Paratransit, Tarrant County Transportation and Northeast Transportation Services, Arlington's VIA and HandyTran. And if using Rideshare sounds like a better way to go, we have good news for you. Lyft recently announced it will be offering a 50% discount on Rideshares, bike and scooter rides to the polls on Election Day. It is all part of their Lyft Up Voting Access Program. For more information on the election and voting, go to WFAA.com slash vote. I'm Stacia Wilson, and remember, every single vote counts. Before you cast your ballot in the presidential race, we are helping you better understand where Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee for president, and Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president, stand on issues that matter to you. On immigration and securing the border. In his speech accepting the Republican nomination, Trump said he will launch the largest deportation operation in America's history. His website says he will use the National Guard and local law enforcement to carry that out. His website also says he will end the policy of catch and release and restore remain in Mexico, which forces asylum seekers to wait in Mexico while their cases are pending. Now, Harris touts her time as California Attorney General prosecuting cartels and human traffickers. She backed that bipartisan border security bill, which would have added technology and 1,500 new agents to increase border security. The bill died in Congress, but Harris says she will bring it back and sign it into law. On her website, she also says the immigration system is broken and needs comprehensive reform with an earned pathway to citizenship. There is a lot more to consider before you vote. Go to WFAA.com for more. Before you cast a ballot in the presidential race, we are helping you better understand where Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president, and Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee for president, stand on issues that matter to you. On the economy, Trump's website touts record-setting tax cuts passed into law when he was president. Those expire in 2025, and Trump says he wants to make them permanent. He says his vision for America's economic revival is bigger paychecks and more jobs. He is in favor of tariffs on all imports, says he'll bring back supply chains and, quote, build America into the manufacturing superpower of the world. Harris touts a plan to build an opportunity economy. Her website details several specific proposals to lower middle class taxes. We're highlighting a few. Expanding the child tax credit, restoring the earned income tax credit, giving first time home buyers $25,000 for a down payment, and expanding tax deductions she says will help new small businesses grow. There's a lot more to consider before you vote. Go to WFAA.com for more. 
Before you cast a ballot in the presidential race, we want to help you learn more about policy. We are helping you better understand where Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee for president, and Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president, stand on issues that matter to you. On health care and abortion, Harris's website says, among other things, she will expand the Affordable Care Act, extend subsidies that cut the cost of the ACA that are currently set to expire next year, and extend the $35 cap on insulin currently in place for seniors to all Americans. On abortion, Harris supports eliminating the Senate filibuster to restore the protections that were allowed under Roe v. Wade. Now, staying with the issue of abortion, Supreme Court justices appointed by Trump overturned Roe, and that led to abortion bans in some states. Trump recently clarified on social media he would not support a federal ban on abortion and that he supports exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. That is less restrictive than Texas's law. On health care, Trump's website says he would reduce the cost of prescription drugs and health insurance premiums. But exactly what he would do with the Affordable Care Act is unclear. There's a lot more to consider before you vote. Go to WFAA.com for more. A U.S. senator represents the entire state. That means every registered Texan can weigh in on this race. Senator Ted Cruz, the incumbent Republican, wants a third term in Washington. Congressman Colin Allred, a Democrat, wants to unseat him. Before you vote, we're helping you get a better grasp on where they stand. On the border, Cruz introduced legislation to build a wall, to add manpower to the U.S. Border Patrol, and to ICE for deportation operations. His legislation would punish visa overstays and reform parole and asylum processes. All Red touts breaking with his party on the need for more border security. He supports protecting dreamers, offering taxpaying undocumented immigrants a path to citizenship, and addressing violence and poverty in Central and South America to slow the flow of migration. You can learn more at WFAA.com slash vote. A U.S. Senator represents the entire state. That means every registered Texan can weigh in on this race. Senator Ted Cruz, the incumbent Republican, wants a third term in Washington. Congressman Colin Allred, a Democrat, wants to unseat him. Before you vote, we're helping you get a better grasp on where they stand. On the economy and jobs, Allred is in favor of increasing the minimum wage, expanding paid family leave, and investing in job training and apprenticeship programs. He touts his yes vote for the CHIPS Act, an infrastructure law that have created Texas jobs. Cruz voted against those bills, but he voted for 2017 cuts that lowered taxes for Texans, and he supports making them permanent. He also proposes abolishing the IRS and implementing a flat tax for all. He touts his bipartisan work to increase trade with Mexico and bring jobs to Texas. You can learn more at WFAA.com slash vote. A U.S. Senator represents the entire state. That means every registered Texan can weigh in on this race. Senator Ted Cruz, the incumbent Republican, wants a third term in Washington. Congressman Colin Allred, a Democrat, wants to unseat him. Before you vote, we're helping you get a better grasp on where they stand. On health care and abortion, Cruz applauded the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, and he says abortion policy should be up to the states. He has expressed support for Texas's ban, but he has not explicitly said he supports a national ban, saying instead one has not been proposed. Cruz also wants a full repeal of the Affordable Care Act. Allred opposes Texas's ban on abortion. He favors legislation that would make the Roe v. Wade protections law. He supports the Affordable Care Act, and he says Texas should expand Medicaid. You can learn more at WFAA.com slash vote. Voters from Plano down the east side of Dallas to Balch Springs will vote to fill Colin Allred's congressional seat on Election Day. Democratic State Rep Julie Johnson is facing former Arlington City Councilmember Daryl Day, a Republican, in a district that leans blue. Here's where they stand on abortion. Johnson's endorsed by Planned Parenthood and says if she's elected to Congress, she'll work to codify protections under Roe v. Wade into law. She's voted against Texas's near-total abortion ban. Day says he wants to leave abortion legislation to the states, but he says he does not support current abortion law in Texas. He says he wants exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. Find out more about this race and others at WFA.com forward slash vote. 
Voters from Plano down the east side of Dallas to Balch Springs will vote to fill Colin Allred's congressional seat on Election Day. Democratic State Rep Julie Johnson is facing former Arlington City Council member Daryl Day, a Republican in a district that leans blue. Here's where they stand on inflation and the economy. Day says he'll support the energy industry in Texas to help bring down gas prices, and he wants to cut taxes for both people and companies. He wants to cut government spending, including defunding agencies like the ATF, which he says enforces firearm policies he considers extreme. Johnson is not opposed to reducing spending and wants to cut the federal deficit as well. She also advocates changes to taxes and says she wants a $6,000 child tax credit and a $3,600 tax cut for middle-class families. You can find out more about this race and others on WFA.com forward slash vote. Voters from Plano down the east side of Dallas to Balch Springs will vote to fill Colin Allred's congressional seat on election day. Democratic State Rep Julie Johnson is facing former Arlington City Council member Daryl Day, a Republican in a district that leans blue. Here's where they stand on immigration and the border. Day says he supports Governor Abbott's measures at the southern border. He says he wants more federal intervention along the border and wants to streamline the process for immigrating to the country legally. Johnson is against building a border wall and supports a five to 10 year pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. She says she wants to hire more people to help reduce immigration backlogs and train Border Patrol on de-escalation techniques. Find out more about this race and others on WFA.com forward slash vote.